if you have played any music game before, you know that music artists or group allow their music to be in game like Just Dance, Beat Saber, Rock Smith, and more. It's also not common that famous people have games based on them. Sometimes artists may do collaboration with games. If you happen to love Final Fantasy and Ariana Grande, good for you. Anyway, I have free games based on the music from ABBA, Michael Jackson, and the Black Eyed Peas all on the Wii. The games on Wii are similar to Judd Dan. Speaking of Judd Dan, half of the routines from the ABBA game are in Judd Dan Unlimited. All three are published by Ubisoft, but made by different developers on different platforms. Both versions of the Black Eyed Peas game are made different from ABBA and Michael Jackson games. The Wii version is closer to Judd Dan, while the Kinect version is closer to Dan Central. Ava and Michael on the Wii were made by the same team, which is why the on-screen menus are similar in both games. The Michael Jackson game on all the different platforms play similar to other games like Dan Central and Elite Beat Agent. Alright, now for the game. Remember what I said about this game being made by a different developer? It really showed for all the wrong reasons. The team behind this game didn't know how to make a good game. The choreo is okay and worked for the music of the group. Scoring is different in this game. There are 5 bars and 3 letters for scoring progression. Because of this progression, routines were made to be played with more than one person. And I'm not talking about duet routines. This is a problem if you're playing the game alone like me. The graphics and visuals of the game are an issue and not because of the Wii. The coaches are pixelated, which makes it harder to fully see the hand and body of coaches. Even if I upload the gameplay for the game in 4K, the pixelated look would still be poor to look at. Also, these visuals and other details are questionable. Why are the members faces in the background in some routine? What dance moves are the other people doing? And what the heck is going on in the right corner? The motion tracking is poor. The game had moments where it didn't pick up any of my movement right. Keep in mind how the score progression works, which may seem worse. I don't have a copy of the Kinect version. But it's different and has to be better than the Wii version. I'm sure I don't need to talk or explain who Michael Jackson is. Although, just in case I get the question in the comment, I don't know. Maybe a right issue or to avoid the controversy around him. Yeah, you can't talk about him without anyone breaking that up. Someone is going to say it even if I didn't. It been joked about and talked about to death, so I don't need to talk about it. And I don't want YouTube to do anything to my video, so let's move on. The choreo is fun and does a great job matching moves of Michael for a casual audience on the Wii and PS3. You can choose between Michael or one of his partners in the routine. The visuals are okay for the Wii, but better on PS3. My only problem is the motion tracking. 
it didn't matter if it was on the Wii or PS3. I had issues with the game reading my movement. You can unlock videos showing you how to copy Michael Jackson's move. However, why do I have to unlock something that teaches you how to get better at something? Out of the free, ABBA is the easiest to get into. The choreo is easy and matches up with the music of the band. Some routines feel like a musical. What a fun idea. The motion tracking is good but not perfect. However, it could be because the moves are easier to program. Or because this game was made a year after Michael. That could be why motion tracking is better in this game. The game had a normal mode, a mini musical mode where it acts like a story, and a karaoke mode where you can use a microphone to sing. However, the game does not score you at all. So what's the point of this mode? My tiny problem with the game is the routine with four coaches. These routines don't show your next move. To make things even worse, three of these routines have gold moves. The reason why I know where the gold moves are because I played the routine in Unlimited. For some odd reason, all games share the same issue with needing to enter your name when you get a new score. In Just Dance 2, I can just put my name in one and never do it again. Why couldn't they do that in each game? All three have some small extras. ABBA had info about the band, a mini musical, and a pointless karaoke mode. The Black Eyed Peas has videos from each member thanking you for playing the game. And Michael has video teaching you how to do the famous move and photos with info about him. But that's it. The main focus of these games is the routine and music from the artist and nothing else. Abbott choreo is fun and matches up with their music. And some routines feel like a musical. Michael Corio does a great job with copying his moves and putting them into video game form, but with hit and mid motion tracking. The Black Eyed Peas choreo feels random, along with poor motion tracking and a dumb choice to make the coach it pistolated. I would love it if the rest of the routine from the ABBA game got into Judd Dan along with Michael Corio. But the Judd Dan team needed to get the motion tracking working right. Because I hate bad motion tracking. Regardless, I had a fun look into the game. Maybe you should try to play one of them. But don't pirate the DS version of the Michael Jackson game. Why you may add? Well, I hope you like hearing stadium horn from the 2010 World Cup.